Hey everyone, it's the interview queen Alicia Toot here and it is my absolute pleasure to welcome you all to my interview with no offense. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? How's your day going over there? Kind of crazy. Um, no, good, good. Uh, just a lot of work. I literally just announced my American tour like an hour ago. Um, so I've been like checking all my socials and like going through all the comments and that. But like, yeah, no, good, good. I know my feed from all your retweets was simply like this city announcing this, this place saying, hey, guess who's coming to town? So just yeah. what's running through your mind, the excitement, knowing that you're going to be able to hit up all of these different cities too and explore a little bit. God. I don't even know. I, I know I'm going to be like incredibly overwhelmed because I'm already like very overwhelmed, even just like announcing it. Um, I don't know. I'm just really excited. Um, I've, I've been to America like twice, um, but I've only played like I've played like four headline shows in my life. Um, so this is going to be like a very big jump. But no, I'm, I'm so excited to just see how different the crowds are there and to like meet Americans. Uh, that would be interesting because like when I when I do stuff in the UK there's people that like would have come to meetups that I used to do years ago or people that I would have recognized but like in America there's just going to be a whole crowd of faces of people that I don't recognize right. I'm excited oh, for that you must be I can't imagine too just traveling that far seeing just a sea of people knowing every single word to everything you've put so much into it's going to be incredible it's going to be crazy <laughs> Now, I know that's running through your mind, of course, but you've also been working on something for days and that's some artwork. So how is that coming along? Good. <laughs> <laughs> Good. It's for something really cool. I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it. Um, OK, fine. It, it, it's going great for, for literally um, for like all my like um, single artwork and like EP artwork. I've like um, I've not like di designed it myself. I've like well, I've designed it myself or I'll like I'll do a, a terrible like really badly made little mock-up you pass and, like, it off. And it, yeah no literally I'll like send it to the art guy and be like can you make it exactly like this but good um <laughs> whereas for these past three days I've been trying to figure out how to do stuff myself um and my boyfriend's got an iPad and he's got all like the arty stuff on it so I've, I've just spent three days solid just working on a bunch of art and I'm actually quite excited about it because I did not know that um you can you can make art with Ooh, with know, an iPad. Right? Who it's crazy, that? right? <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I can't wait to find out what it's actually for. But on the other hand, something that we can openly talk about is your song "Worms in My Brain" as it's officially out worldwide. The video yeah. for the song, by the way, it's so <laughs> much fun to watch as you're just wrestling around with a bunch of life-size plush worms. So, <laughs> how damn fun was that whole experience of filming? God, it was so music videos are always really fun because we have like a little team um of our friends that are all like part of it like um I live on my own with my boyfriend now but like a year ago I was living in a house with six of us and all six people are involved in the music videos now so it's always been awesome. like our little team of like our buddies um but it's really exciting just like I the the director Luke I'll literally just send him the most ridiculous idea and he'll be like yeah we can do that um, but there's, there's kind of this like Noah cinematic universe thing where there's like, you know, the rat and like all that kind of stuff. Um, so it, it was really fun just like seeing that all come together as well as like the big brain and like the worms. Like, I, I don't know. It was, <laughs> as you can tell, everything's a bit crazy. Um, but it but, works. I love that. I love when things yeah. are so hectic and there's some mayhem in it all. And then it turns out yeah. into this like flawless project in the end. It's so fun to see. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> I think the coolest thing about the song for me is it is such a vibrant bop of a tune, but then it's actually very serious when it comes to the lyrics. It's, it's about trauma and just going through some intense moments. So how is it for you being so vulnerable always from laying out all of your thoughts to millions, whether in your videos on YouTube or simply in a song? Um, how's it for me? I don't, I don't know. I feel like I have an, I have an inability to keep my mouth shut and to not like I just can't stop myself from saying things and when it comes to songwriting like I feel like like anybody that writes songs will probably feel the same but like if something comes out and it works then like you will stick to that because like it gets so stuck in my head I'll be like yeah this is so personal and should I really be like letting all these people know about this yeah. but like I, like that thought always goes around and around in my head but at the end of the day I'm just like yeah like it's good I think it's good uh, and it may be very personal but it's it's not 
so specific that uh everybody is like what the fuck is going on now it's more just <laughs> um it's i don't know i i find it kind of easy to write about that kind of stuff because the way that i portray it is usually in like an upbeat way so mm-hmm. it's not like oh i'm so sad i'm so depressed about this trauma it's more like oh well, this fucking sucks but let's <laughs> let's let's dance about it um yes. <laughs> yeah I absolutely adore that and the cool thing too is when it comes with growth and simply having so many fans online of course you are going to deal with the odd troll and the thing I love most about it though is you're like me where if you see something you're like I'm not gonna let that shit slide and you'll literally do the videos on it so uh, I'd love to know what's one of the most bizarre or standout comments you can remember oh oh god I Jesus that was a question um (laughs) I don't, I honestly, I, I can't remember specifics. I Every time I get a crazy comment, I'm always just like, wow, I should have started a folder on my phone where I could have kept all of these. The most crazy one? Um, I, I don't know. I guess I guess a lot of the ones recently, um, <laughs> sometimes transphobes will make videos about me um, and they'll have their own little transphobic community on their side of YouTube and they'll all like be up each other's asses in the comments. Um, but I guess one that like comes to mind right now is like, uh, a thing that transphobes love to do is to say, um, hey, so you people may think you're a guy now, but when you're dead in 500 years and they dig up your body, they'll see a female skeleton. Uh, so I think the craziest comment that sticks out to me is like, why are these people giving a shit about my bones? Yeah, why um, do they give a fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Like that's-, it's like, that's I don't even point. think what my skeleton's gonna look like when I'm dead, but clearly they give a shit for some reason. <laughs> right it's 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 so strange um but yeah I I guess it would be that it's just it's just people sometimes people's brains just immediately go to like I know what shape your pelvis is and I'm like Mm -hmm. okay you can that's good for you yeah it's good for you right (laughs) right well something I love just from the jump I'll never forget seeing your name and of course just thinking that's absolutely brilliant (laughs) just to go like hand in hand with how blunt you are so uh, the one thing I'm curious about is to switch it around of course we're talking about super annoying people online but is there anything that truly offends you or just gets under your skin and it can be like the simplest of even light-hearted pet peeves god um something that gets under my skin um god um I don't know I guess I guess something recently is like um like the assumptions that people make about me just by how I look um like it's like recently like if like rock sound posts me or Kerrang posts me like a bunch of the comments will be like 40 year old men like this fucking TikTok kid this fucking uh like that kind of stuff um so I guess like that kind of irritates me the fact that like people will look at me and assume so much about my life because like a lot of the time people will be like oh this privileged white boy never gone through anything in his life and he signed to hopeless and I'm like I got my titties cut off just a good few years ago right. and th- these yeah I-, I guess the thing that gets under my skin is just people making assumptions about me and really just anybody without even thinking about it um because that's something that you can never really prevent from happening like no matter no matter how well you explain yourself or like how honest you are there's always going to be people that will look at you and immediately like assume something about you for sure I love how you went so deep in that because I had some people I feel like would say like slow walkers or loud chewers and you <laughs> genuinely <laughs> I mean love that you took that route and was again just going you know the course being so open with it <laughs> I mean slow walkers do suck that's fair when I'm, when I'm in a rush <laughs> well, the last thing I want to ask you about today, no, is I know that you found one of your old books from school where in it you were most likely to collaborate with Limp Biscuit. So is that still your number one dream collab? <laughs> uh, it would not be my number one dream collab, but I would be so down just to have Fred Durst like open up an album with like DJ Lee Thought. Like just I like imagine imagine Limp Biscuit doing an intro to your album. Like oh, no, don't, mind don't care, like like so many people fucking hate them but I'm like they bang they bang yeah they're great (laughs) amazing well Noah thank you so so much for coming on today for taking the time for keeping that just blunt train going I'm the same way and I just absolutely love that so I really appreciate you and you taking the time to come on that's right thank you of course, to everyone watching, this has been No Offense. Be sure to check out aliciatoot.com for plenty more exclusive interviews and features. And we'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody. Yeah. <laughs>